but it's time for a little bit of book shopping. Hello, my name is Emily Crow from The Cozy Crow and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to this video. I'm really excited. I've had this idea for a while and it just hasn't quite worked out. I live kind of near Salt Lake City, Utah, and there are a lot of smaller independent bookstores in Salt Lake City. And I've wanted to do a little trip and go visit a few and see how many I can visit. I do have a work meeting today, this afternoon, so I've got a few hours that I can kind of mosey around, explore a few bookshops, and take you along with me. So that is the plan for the day. And I am not gonna possibly visit every single one of these bookstores, but I've got a running list of maybe about 10 of them. And there was a couple priorities that I definitely wanna make sure I visit because they've been recommended to me by my friends, but I have a few others that have caught my eye. So we'll see how many I can hit up. A few of those bookstores open at 10. That's hopefully when I'm gonna start this little tour of Salt Lake City independent bookstores. It is about 8.45, so time to get ready to go that I can head up to Salt Lake City and visit some fun bookstores and see what kind of haul I bring back and I'll take you along with me. But first off, this bag is from Poppy's Books. I think you can get it online as well at a different source. I cannot remember what. I remember first seeing this bag from Emily Henry posting it that you could buy online. I didn't want to pay shipping but then I waited long enough and it showed up at my local bookstore at Poppy's. It says, books are my happy place, Emily Henry. And then on the back, you've got her four contemporary romances that have come out at this point in time, though Funny Story is coming out next week and I already pre-ordered it. I'm going to a midnight party. I'm really excited to be reading that because she is my favorite romance author. So this will be my tote bag for my purchases. We'll see. I think I might want to buy like one book from every bookstore I go to today, but we'll see kind of what happens. Waking up, it's gone. It leaves us feeling cold again. Picking up the stones, our hands were made to feel. And moments like these, they show us what we've got when we ain't got a thing. We've got us 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 Yes! His eyes look infected His left Still we've got 
So I took a look at the King's English Bookshop. It sounded like the owner is actually British. They had a fun accent. I love walking around. It was like so many different little hallways and interconnected rooms and like stairs to go up and down. It was just like a really interesting experience. I feel like I could have gotten lost in there and I thought I was done looking through what they had and then I turned a corner and then there was a whole other part of the bookshop and there was a children's section and it was just really cool to be able to see. I really liked wandering around and taking a look. I saw a lot of books that hadn't caught my eye previously that I never knew existed. I feel like they did a really good job at presenting books that are not part of like mainstream book talk, etc, etc. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit more off the beaten path, not super obscure, but just like people aren't talking about as much, they had lots of books like that on display, which was really nice. I did not buy anything. All the books that I was thinking about purchasing are all books that I could purchase at any bookstore. There was nothing that stood out to me that I like really want to read right this second or that I was 100% positive, like I need this in my library or books that I felt like I couldn't go home without. I'm trying to be mindful of my purchases and I have a lot of books on my TBR. So I definitely kept track of the books that caught my eye and some of them I will definitely try to listen to the audiobook if I can when my holds come in through the library. But other than that, I did not feel like I needed to start reading any of the books that I saw. They caught my eye. And so right now might not be a purchasing time for me and that is okay. I like to do a lot of audiobooks for my library, and when I find a book that I really love that I want to have in my home library, then I will go out and purchase a book after I read it on audio, and that has worked well for me, but I do have a lot of physical books already on my shelf, so nothing that I felt like I wanted to bring home today from this bookstore. We'll see. I'll visit at least two other bookstores I think I'll have time for, if not a third so we'll take a look and see if anything else catches my eye, something I'd want to start right away. If not, I'm going to give myself permission to just browse and get ideas for books I may want to read in the future. But right now, I'm not in a buying mood, I don't think.
but I decided to walk because the next bookstore I'm going to is just a couple blocks away and the weather is nice, a little bit brisk, but I think I'm good. Legendarium is really, really cool. Sorry, I saw people and I panicked. A Legendarium is really cool. They had music playing from like Lord of the Rings. They had this really cool vibe of like dark wood, old, like old furniture. There's like tarot cards around. I don't know, it was just like such a cool vibe. They even had like a little mini coffee house inside too. Like someone asked for a latte while I was there and someone brewed them a cup of coffee. So that was kind of cool. Just I could see myself going with a couple of friends and just enjoying the experience of being there, like not even having to buy anything and just appreciating the vibe. So that was really cool. The next place I'm going to is called Lovebound Library and it is a romance indie bookstore. Oh my gosh, Lovebound Library is so cute. It's a tiny shop, but they do have separate sections for like more like fantasy related romance, contemporary romance. They had a small historical section, LGBTQ, young adult. Contemporary was by far the biggest section. They had a couple other fun things like bookmarks, candles, coloring books related to some fandoms, etc. So it was cute. It didn't take too long to go through. I did buy something, so I will show you that later. I think we only have time for one more bookstore so it'll be our fourth bookstore today before I go to my classes and meetings and such so let's see which one I end up going to. Waking up, it's gone. It leaves us feeling cold again. Picking up the stones, our hands were made to feel. All right, so finished our fourth bookstore of the day. I went to Weller Books, which is in Trolley Square, which I haven't 
really explored before, but it's kind of like a shopping mall experience type of thing. I don't know. It's hard to put into words because it's not like an outer mall, but it's not like an inner mall either. So it's a little bit different. Very interesting place. So I'll need to look more into that. It was totally barren though, but they had the bookstore. It wasn't too difficult to find the store and it was a really neat space. It had really tall ceilings. It had the cool like rolling ladders. It mixed new books and used books though you could pretty much tell which books were the used books. They had lots of older, older books and like rare books, specialty books too. So if you're looking for something very specific, that could be a really good place to look. They didn't have a lot of fiction compared to their mass amount of books in the store. They honestly had a lot of historical books as in nonfiction books. I would say like half the store was nonfiction, which is pretty crazy. And then they had all their like rare books upstairs. I didn't even look because I'm not looking for any rare books. That was a really interesting space. I did get one book and it is The Last Chance Library. And this is by Freya Sampson. And this just sounds like a cozy found family type of book where this librarian is trying to save her library as budget cuts from the city are trying to close her library. I looked it up. I have a hard time buying books just based on what I think I like. I like to look them up on Storygraph and just learn more about what other people thought. And based on what I read, I think I will enjoy this. I don't think it'll be like a five star book but I think I'll enjoy it and I will appreciate having read it so and it's so cute look there might be like a romantic subplot it looks like anyway that's the book I got nothing else caught my eye I'm really in the mood for lighter things right now honestly but I'll show you what I got from Lovebound Library as well because I'm going to work really soon and I need to find a snack before I head to work and so I need to finish off this video first of all Got this cute sticker, Lovebound Library, like a little ticket tag, super cute. And this book that I've never seen before, it says Till There Was You by Lindsay Hammeroff. And this is like a, this girl is not famous, but she ends up meeting someone who becomes famous. They have a chemistry filled time together, like a date turns into like a weekend type of thing, but then he becomes famous and their lives still are like intertwined and she's trying to decide you know which path she's going to take because her current life path of trying to be an executive chef in a michelin star restaurant is not the way she can go if she like chooses to pursue a relationship with him which i don't really understand how that would be so maybe i'll learn about it here but something about the the cover is so cute the colors blueberry pancakes he writes a song apparently about her blueberry pancake recipe which is like really cute that's all on the back so i don't know anything more about that but i thought this would be a fun read and and just a romance that i haven't seen talked about and so i thought it would be fun to read and so those are my books I was kind of hoping to buy a book from every bookstore, but I didn't want to make myself buy a book just because I wanted to buy a book. I wanted to buy a book that I would read soon. <laughs> so that's these two books. We'll see how soon I get to either of these because I feel like I've got a lot on my TBR and I just cannot get through everything fast enough. But thank you so much for joining me as I visited some bookstores here in Salt Lake City, some indie bookstores that I had been eyeing. and. I recommend all of them. Super cool. All have very different vibes and different strong points. So I definitely recommend you check them out if you are in the Salt Lake area. And until next time, happy reading. Bye. We've got us. We've got us.